What's going on guys? How you doing? Arnie here. I want to chat with you guys for a sec about two things. Number one, how your circle of influence can help you learn or hurt you if you are in the wrong circle. Number two, what my Spanish speaking friends have taught me about learning as well. So um, right now I'm down here in Mexico. Some of you guys might not know this, but I, I'm actually bilingual. Uh, hablo español también, si no sabías. <laughs> and um, I have been learning Spanish for, uh, uh, I mean, most of my life. So I've lived in Mexico, Argentina, Spain, Colombia, um, all over the place. And uh, I, I love learning Spanish. I love um, the challenge. I love the excitement. Um, I love the, the mental stimulation of learning a new language and uh, sharing cultures with other people and doing that through language. It's really fun. So, um, yeah, I speak Spanish too, in case you didn't know. But what, why I wanted to bring this up and how it relates to you and your circle of influence and how you can learn is, uh, is a really cool topic. So I just had this thought and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, like, whenever I hang out with my Spanish-speaking friends, like Spanish-speaking natives, what happens is, is, you know, we'll go out, we'll go do our thing, and uh, let's say we're at a restaurant or something like that, or like trying to get directions or something like that. Naturally, the Spanish speakers are going to take the lead, ask for directions, you know, check in with the, the staff, see if we need anything, all that. that that's just what they do. Um, but if I'm with my, uh, my English-speaking friends who don't speak as much Spanish as me, I take the lead. I end up, you know, ordering the food, asking for the directions, uh, telling the taxi where to go, and um, uh, uh, teaching them the Spanish that I know as well. So I'm able to be a teacher at the level of my experience. You see what I'm saying? So when I'm with my friends who don't know as much Spanish as me, puedo enseñarles a uh, aprender español también. Pero uh, si estoy con mis amigos uh, que hablan español, um, it's different, right? So um, they get to teach me more Spanish. And uh, I get to learn all those new things that I didn't know, all the different words, all the different grammar, all those different pieces um, that, that I didn't have already because I wasn't at that level yet. Because they're Spanish natives, they're way up here. Um, and, and how this relates to you, once again, once again, guys. So um, now think about this in the, in the concept of you learning business. So let's say if you go out, you start, uh, start a business and uh, you're six months in, and you're learning a whole bunch of stuff, um, you are going to have you know, this level of experience. You're gonna learn a few things that people who haven't started yet do not have that level of experience. They have zero or a little bit less than you. So what happens is you're able to help out people who um, aren't at your level yet. But there's a million people out there that are at a much higher level than you, and you still have a lot to learn. So what happens is if you have your circle of influence, but you're the smartest guy in the room, you're not gonna be learning too much from those other people around you. You're gonna be teaching them instead. So um, it's the same with language, it's the same with business, it's the same with all kinds of stuff. Um, you might seem like the smartest guy in the room because you've been in business for you know, a couple of years or something, but there's people out there who've been in business for dozens of years, mentored you know, hundreds or thousands of people, put all these hours in that you haven't. Same with learning a language. You know? Just because I've learned it for a few years and, and speak a pretty good uh, amount of Spanish doesn't mean there's not a lot more for me to learn and practice and get better at. So um, I want you to take a look at those, those people in your circle right now. Are they people that are um, ahead of you, behind you, are you always teaching them? Are, are you learning from them? Um, and what can you do to get yourself up into an environment that causes you to learn new things? Um, I want you guys to leave a comment and just uh, give me some feedback real quick. Let me know down below um, what is one way you can change up your environment to put yourself in a learning environment. Um, get around people who are ahead of you. Go ahead and leave a comment for me. Also, sound off, guys. How many other Spanish speakers do we have out in the MEC? Um, if you speak Spanish, just let me get a, a C down in the comments. Uh, I want to see how many uh, Latinos and Spanish speakers we got in the MEC. Um, just curious. I have no idea. So um, that was my thought for the day. You know, make sure to pay attention to your circle of influence. Be around people who are... Um, uh, teaching you and that you can teach you know you got to mix it up a little bit and uh, yeah go learn a language everybody learning language is so fun so um, all right guys I'll catch you all later hope you have a good day and uh, I will talk to you soon bye